Halton as we know it today. It's rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Attawandaran, the Haudenosaunee, and the Métis. These lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in indigenous history. As we gather today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions. Land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. Welcome to the virtual closing ceremony of Robert Bateman High School. Robert Bateman High School opened in 2004 when General Brock and Lord Elgin High Schools were combined. Since then, thousands of students have walked the halls of Robert Bateman High School. Over the years, hundreds of staff members have brought their skills and their talents to the school and delivered high-quality programming to a wide variety of learners. Speaking on behalf of the Halton District School Board is the trustee for Robert Bateman High School, Amy Collard. It's been my honor and privilege to be the trustee for Robert Bateman High School for the last 10 years. During this time, I've participated in a wide range of special events. Each one of these occasions has highlighted for me the incredible level of inclusivity that is the hallmark of this diverse school. As we celebrate this amazing school, my hope is that each one of us who has walked these halls will continue to honor the legacy of what it means to be welcoming and accepting of all people. I wish you all the very best as you continue on your life's journey. Go wild! David Bogue, Associate Director of the Halton District School Board and former school principal, reflects on the establishment and culture of Robert Bateman High School. Hi, it's my pleasure to share a few fond memories of Robert Bateman. I remember when Bateman opened and the joining of the two previous schools, creating a culture of inclusion where all pathways, all abilities, and all differences were celebrated. This was a school that where, regardless of who you were, there was something here for everyone. A school where staff would do whatever it took for students to be successful. My fondest memories include seeing the many students that volunteered their time in our Community Pathways program. The Christmas sale and seeing all of the wonderful creations that our students had made on display for the community. And walking through the food school and smelling the delicacies of the day. Working at Robert Bateman was a highlight of my career. Robert Bateman, we're really going to miss you. Please welcome the founding principal of Robert Bateman High School, Mary Jo Dick Westerby. Hello, Bateman. My name is Mary Jo Dick Westerby, and it was my privilege to be the first principal of Bateman. Not so long ago, we were closing both General Brock and Lord Elgin to reopen as Robert Bateman High School. In concrete terms, all we really had that signified Bateman was the Wild Whoosh logo. But we had a united community of people who believed that a school that offered nearly every program available in Ontario could work for all students learning together. We believe that while we do not all possess equal abilities, we all have an equal right to develop those abilities. In opening Bateman, our feelings probably mirrored yours today. Excitement, sadness, some anger, and trepidation on moving into a very different situation. Now the Bateman community must change again, for one of the few certainties is the constancy of change. Just look around the world today. As well, nothing is ever perfect. There is much good and some bad in most things that we experience, and there is always room for improvement. Wherever you find yourself in your future, take the best of Bateman, whatever that means to you personally, forward into your new circumstances, and then do what you can to make things better. 
It was my privilege to be a part of Bateman, and I will always treasure the opportunity I had to work with people of the school community. And I miss you. And for those who remember, I leave you with the immortal words of Steppenwolf, we were all born to be wild. Over the past few months, the Closing Celebrations Committee reached out to alumni and current students and staff members to share a favorite memory of Bateman. We now present the humans of Robert Bateman. Hey, Lord Elgin crew. Hey, Robert Bateman crew. I'm Heather Lewis, and shout out to the class of 1984. And I'm Haley Lewis, and shout out to the class of 2012. Lord Elgin, thank you for being an amazing place for me to learn and grow when I went to school. And Robert Bateman, thank you for still being an amazing place for me to learn and grow when I went to school there many years later. We want to acknowledge the school for its greatness from generation to generation. And although you are closing, you will not be forgotten. Much love, the Lewises. Yeah, for us, this was, was really hard to do in 15 seconds or less. And we realized that the place is something we carry within all of us. And it's a place of love, which may seem obvious for us to say, but we mean so much more than that. It's a love of diversity and a love of community. A love of genuine learning and reflection and growth. A love of donuts. And mostly for tomorrow, it's a, it's a love of open doors for everyone. So from our family to yours, Thanks for being part of the Bateman community. changed me as a person because they taught me new skills, such as baking and... Thank you, Bateman! My favorite memories of Bateman are all of the incredible students that I've had the privilege of teaching over the years. I've, um, I've met a number of amazing students in many different pathways. They always give me such hope for the future and I always look forward to their visits when they come back and see us in the fall or in the spring and tell us how they're doing.
please welcome the last principal of Robert Bateman High School, Mark Dooley. The end of an era. Usually those words accompany a melancholy tone or situation. However, in our circumstances, I prefer to use those words to celebrate, to remember and treasure all of the amazing things that happened here at Robert Bateman High School. The school doors may close, but the memories we created here will live on forever. In 2004, students from General Brock and Lord Elgin High Schools came together to form one cohesive community that would serve the needs of all students in Burlington for the next 16 years. The name Robert Bateman High School was chosen to honor the Canadian artist who had both helped to design and taught in the art rooms at Lord Elgin High School. Earlier this year, I asked Mr. Bateman to contribute to the closing ceremony, and he told me he was honored to have the school named after him, and they had been very proud of the school and the accomplishments of the students and staff here ever since its founding. I think the creative spirit we nurtured here in our students has been a fitting tribute to the great Canadian artist, Mr. Bateman. Our school crest contains the Latin motto, Singularis Augmen A Virtus, which translates as individual growth and strength. Nothing could describe what we did for students here better than that. We met students where they were and we moved them forward, both academically and as people. If we couldn't provide a program for a student, no school could. We had it all and we were flexible and creative in our student-focused solutions. We were truly the only Burlington-wide secondary school. We drew students from all corners of this great city for specialized programs such as the Food School, Community Pathways Program, International Baccalaureate, and our Healthcare Schism. While our students came from all over Burlington, once they arrived here, they created a tight family along with our staff. We were Bateman. We were the wild. We decorated our clothes, faces, and sometimes our hair with purple and yellow. We cheered for our sports teams, watched student-led drama productions, ate superb meals from our kitchen, raised tens of thousands of dollars for charity, celebrated our diversity at Culture Fusion, sang and danced at Coffee House. We did it all. Perhaps most importantly, we did it all together. When you walked the halls of Bateman, you saw students from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds happily mixing and mingling. You saw students from our Community Pathways program forge incredibly strong bonds with their best buddies and other neurotypical students. Students didn't care what an educational report said one person was. They saw beyond this and connected with who that person was, bringing joy and laughter into both of their lives. Because Bateman was so diverse, we've had a huge number of staff contribute their talents here over the past 16 years. Now, schools all over Halton are the beneficiaries of the EAs, teachers, support staff, and admin who have had the privilege of working here. Each staff member brought their individual strengths to the school each day, and the community of Bateman grew as a result of their dedication and passion. The staff here really got teenagers. They connected with them and forged deep, lifelong relationships. Hardly a day went by without a student dropping in to visit or send an email to a favorite or trusted Bateman staff member. So, here we are at the end of an era, but we should not be sad about what has ended. Instead, we should celebrate what we had and what we created here together, here in this place, the family known as Robert Bateman High School. Thank you, Robert Bateman High School, for an incredible 16 years of learning, inclusion, and community.